And welcome back everyone to Let's Play D2. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Our Feelings in the Snowy Canadian Wastes. Last time we met Father Blindy Claw and his pet parrot, who told us about a prophecy about defeating a dark being from the edges of consciousness in the galaxy and whatnot. Now we've come back to the, uh, to the musician's house to see if anything has changed. Laura, I'm so glad to see you. So glad. I just woke up and you are gone. And Kitty's gone too. Hmm? I don't know where she is. Hmm, how strange. Kimberly is gone and has apparently left Janny all by herself, all alone as Parker is gone as well. I guess the musician's still here though. I'm worried about Kimmy, Laura. I'll be okay by myself. I'll just wait here. Well, she seems to be doing okay. And speaking of the musician, let's go back upstairs and see if he's still practicing. We haven't gotten to talk to him face to face as of yet. He wasn't really interested in that, so let's see if he's changed his mind. He seemed like a friendly kind of fellow. Huh, even the musician is gone. Where has everyone gone to? So of course there are a few items we can pick up. Some ammo, some health, and handgun bullets. Ammo for a weapon we don't have yet. But that's a hint, we'll be getting a new weapon soon. And I guess if the musician didn't mind that we ate his food, he won't mind if we rob him of his of his uh, first aid and his his ammunition. I mean, why would he mind that? As long as he has his piano, he has everything. I wonder what caused the design decision. That every time Laura would pick up an item, there would be an individually animated cutscene for just for that. Well, not every item, because there are those free-look items, but most of them. Okay, here's a puzzle. It's this piano. This is the puzzle where, Ken where Kenji Ino reminds you that he is a musician, and you are not. At least I am not. And that made this puzzle very difficult. I had to consult a fact. If I did not, I would have never have been able to actually do this. Well, maybe by accident. Okay, did you hear that little, uh, that little sequence of notes right there? We have to play that. Now, I'm absolutely hopeless when it comes to music. So, this is just beyond me. We don't have many keys to choose from, so it couldn't be that hard. And if you know anything about music or playing the piano, I suppose it's not too difficult. But yeah, this is this is just something I cannot do, so I had to look it up. So, the order that we have to play the keys, unfortunately it doesn't matter how fast we do this. Because we are playing very slowly either way. But this is the order. Gasp. I don't understand something, though. That was a sequence of notes that the musician was playing over and over. We heard him playing it. Was this secret door constantly opening and closing as he was doing so? He likes to collect butterflies. 
quite a pretty collection, but uh, nothing else. Nothing else in his little secret room here, but why, why have a secret room if that's the only thing you're going to have here? And there's actually only one thing we can uh, interact with in the secret room, and that's this one wall right here. No, nothing visually that implies that we can do this to it. Laura just somehow figures out, senses, that it is actually a door. And what a door! Because now we have a new weapon. And if the musician didn't mind us eating his food and taking his items, surely he doesn't mind us taking his machine gun? And he has also got a key to something here. Whatever, he won't miss it. If he was using it, he wouldn't have left it lying around, right? Right? It's, it's not really stealing if he wasn't using it. I'm, I'm sure that we can use it much in a much better way than he was going to. Okay, let's check out what we got. First, that key. It says note key. It has a musical note on it, and it says Martha and Tom Warren inscribed on it. Now, if we went to Martha's house earlier, as I said, it was locked. There would be a uh, there's an image of a note on the door, so that tells you what that key is for. And here is the semi-automatic. This gun replaces the submachine gun because this gun has unlimited ammo as well. It's more powerful than submachine guns, so we no longer actually have to use that anymore. This is our new go-to weapon. It has less ammo per clip than the submachine guns, so you do have to reload more often, but it's worth a trade-off. It's still not as powerful as the shotgun. But of course, with the shotgun, you want to conserve ammo for when you really need it. Well, that was fruitful. I wonder where that musician went to, though. And with both Parker and Kimberly still gone, that means still no snowmobile for us. Gonna have to walk. At least we have somewhere to walk to, because uh, we did get that key. So let's leave the little helpless uh, girl here by herself. Let's go out. Surely nothing bad will happen to her. I mean, if the musician comes back, he won't hurt her, I'm sure. He seemed very reasonable, very uh, stable. And Kimberly, of course, there's been no indication that she might be a murderer. So let's leave, uh, let's leave Jenny right there by herself. And let's equip the, uh, the semi-automatic, just to see what this looks like next time we get into a fight. Okay, so now we've been back to the musician's house. Now we're going to go to uh, Martha's house, unlock that door, trespass, see what's in there. And after that, it would be back, I believe, to the priest's house. Because he might have something new to say. Not going to fast forward this bit just to show the uh, semi-automatic. Visually, it's not too different from the uh, some machine gun, but we'll have a look at it, and we'll see just how much uh, more useful it is. Even though it is uh, going to replace our some machine gun, however, by the time we get to the very end of the game, we're going to want to have a lot of shotgun shells and gabombs to get us through. See, it has a smaller clip, so we're going to be reloading more. And while the shotgun would have taken these guys out already, we're still firing with the submachine gun. Well, that's one down. That's one down. And two. Has a scope on it. Can actually use that scope. Doesn't do anything. Let's continue on. Fortunately, it's not too far of a walk to Martha's house. Basically, the way this game works is you have to figure that there are locations closer to where you are 
Uh, and it's more likely that the game wants you to go there than the further away locations. Like I mentioned, there is that locked stone bridge. And we don't actually know it's locked until we go there. And that is a long walk. So you kind of have to figure that the game doesn't actually want you to walk there. Uh, and you should check out the, sh the uh, closer locations first. I haven't been uh, hunting too much, so I do need to stock up on some meats. Fortunately, I haven't been using a lot of meats, actually. Uh, I've been getting hurt now and again, but every time I level up, I get all my health back. So I've been, uh, I've been conserving my meats that way. Again, red enemies are more powerful than the green enemies we've been seeing before. I don't know why, because their blood is green, so it shouldn't... Maybe green is... I, I don't know, I don't know. But, yeah. So these guys, they attack the same way as the previous Diglets, but... A little bit stronger, a little bit tougher. But still, no big deal. They're still the easiest enemy, because you don't actually have to worry about them until they're right up in your face. If they pop up further away, again, they're, they're not doing anything. They can't actually throw anything at you. So they're always the preferable enemy to fight since you'll probably get out of it without getting hit. No, um, exotic animals in this area. All we're gonna get are hare and grouse. No caribou or moose. I'm pretty sure my hunting rank isn't actually going to increase from hare marksmen, uh, because hares are the... The ones I'm shooting the most more than any other animal. I would have to shoot some other animals in order to, uh, to change that rank. But anyway, over to the right. Don't miss that little notch. Because that's where we have to go. Martha's house is hidden away in there. And Martha's house is nowhere near as magnificent as the musician's house. Yeah, it looks like a makeshift little shack build out of scrap metal. Well, I mean, whatever works. And there's a musical note, which would imply that we're using the musical key to open the door. And what does it matter if the owner of the house didn't want us to go in? We're the chosen one. Tom. Uh, Tom, is that you? Oh, it's not. Please, come in. 